Isaiah chapter 66, verse 2, and it reads, For all those things have mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bitches, the great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But God's with people here for a bear. And he that trembleth. At my word. You Israelites don't even know what you're involved in. You don't even know what type of power is coming, man. You don't even know what type of entity created everything. You, you have no clue of the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. But you're gonna you you get ready to find out though, the hard way. The Israelites that don't repent, you're gonna find out the hard way. All, all I mean, all the lollygagging, all the playing around. It's, it's almost over. You see, all the BS is getting ready to stop. So, so you're gonna be faced with imminent danger. You're gonna you're gonna be faced with horrors, never seen, never heard of, from, from man. No, no stories ever heard of in the past can equate to what's coming. The Lord said, look, look, then you got to ask yourself, Israel, are you trembling at the words of the Lord? Because remember, the bonds, bonds, bonds. See, see, all that, lot, all this, I mean, just, just that vain babbling, that talking and all that. You out of there soon come. The slain of the Lord shall be from one end of the earth to the other. Are you trembling at the words of the Lord? When the words of the Lord come out, are you smiling? Are you laughing? Are you trembling your ass off? You see? Let's get this again. The, this message is deadly serious. It ain't a game. It's not a game, Israel. Isaiah 66 and 2. For all those things have mine hand made. And all those things have been, saith the Lord Yahweh. Through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus. But to this man, but to this Israelite man, Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian, right? Will I look? Even to him that is poor. Remember the bum, the bum, the bums? So how people think um, gain is godliness. Oh, oh, the Lord, he can't be dealing with you unless you got a Rolls Royce. Unless you got a Porsche. Unless you got a big old building full of people. Oh, the Lord can't be dealing with you unless you got a million followers. Just stepping up and down the street. Yeah, you don't have a clue what this thing is, is all about. No, a clue. Oh, the Lord, the Lord got to be dealing with him. He has he has all the status. No, the Lord said, but to this man, this Israelite man, will I look even to him that is poor? Remember, poor, rich in faith, right? And of a contrite spirit, a remorseful. A regretful, a humble spirit. Matter of fact, let's get this word. Let's get contrite. You got all these prideful people walking around the earth thinking that the Lord is dealing with them. No, no, the Lord said, I'm dealing with the contrite spirit. Contrite. It's an adjective. Feeling or expressing remorse of or repentance affected by guilt. We went off, man. We're supposed to be feeling remorseful, regretful for all our wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings in this life and our former lives, right? See, they're the one of the definitions right there. Regretful, remorseful, repentive, in a repentive state, full of regret. We feel sorry for what we did against the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, yo. You see? We don't let our sins wear us down either, though, right? What else? Chasten. You see? A shame. Shame face. 
You, you don't see people shame face on the face of the earth. You just see a bunch of prideful people on the face of the earth. But the Lord said, oh, that contrite man, that regretful man, that remorseful man, Israelite man, right? Contrite in spirit and trembleth at my words. Even Habakkuk said, I'm, I'm going to get that too. Right, look, Isaiah just said he trembled at the words of the Lord. Let's, let's get another one. All the men of the Lord tremble at the words of the Lord. What is it? Um, is it third chapter? Have a good chapter three. Let's see. Or, or is it two? Let's see. Oh, yeah, here it is. Habakkuk chapter three, verse one. And it reads a prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet, the prophet upon Shaganath. Right. Oh, Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. I heard thy speech. I heard your men teaching the truth according to the Bible. And I was afraid. Remember, contrite spirit and he that trembleth at the words of the Lord. Not he that mocketh, that scoffeth. Nah. The man that trembleth at the words of the Lord. We're supposed to be afraid, Israel. The king of terror, the king of terrors is coming. Elishijah, demon-like power is coming. Everything is going to tremble. Everything. Oh, Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, I have heard thy speech. And was afraid. Every morning do if he bring his James and like he fell of not, but the unjust nor no shame. We read about the flood. We read about Sodom and Gomorrah. Look at what the Lord did to the children of Israel. Had us get run, run out of our, we, we got ran out of our homeland. Scattered. Slave ships. Post-slavery. Look at what the Lord did to us. And Israelites still walk around acting like they ain't afraid. You got it, right? You got it, right? The Lord said, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. I kill, I will. We're going to see if we can get that too. We tremble at the words of the Lord. I have heard, oh Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Very afraid. The Lord, the Lord said, oh, fear ye not me. Oh, Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath. Remember mercy. When you bring your wrath, Lord, remember mercy. Abba Rochester, I remember mercy. Remember the Israelites that heard your word and was afraid. They, they was fearful. They trembled at your words, Lord. Remember them. Let's get this. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. Remember, tremble at the words of the Lord. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven in all the proud. Yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. But ain't nobody afraid. The servants of the Lord trembling at these words right here. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. You hear a scripture like this? And you and you still want to want to commit wicked acts? Are you serious? The Lord said you're going to be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up. When the missiles fly, this place is going to burn. So come, war going to pop off, anarchy going to pop off. The worst time known to mankind is going to pop the hell off. And the Lord, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. 
but unto you that fear my name. See, here we go. You tremble at the words of the Lord, right? But unto you that fear my name. Shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Lord said, but unto you that fear the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God. And Jesus said, the son of righteousness, Lord Yahweh Shai, is going to come with healing in his wings when he pull up in the chariots. The slain. As a matter of fact, let's just get this. Look, remember, tremble at the words of the Lord. I want, to, I want to get this. The Lord said He's going to destroy this wicked sinful kingdom from off the face of the earth, and ain't nobody afraid. What is it? Twenty-five and thirty-three. Jeremiah chapter twenty-five. Bear with me. Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 33. Bear with me. Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 33, and it reads, And the slain of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, shall be at that day from one end of the earth even until the other end of the earth. Remember, tremble at my words. The slain of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, shall be from one end of the earth to the other, man. But you still walk around and tell some God is all love. This, 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 that ain't what Jeremiah is saying That ain't what Habakkuk was saying That ain't what Isaiah was saying That ain't what Malachi was saying But that's what that's what you saying Jeremiah 25 and 33 And it's slain Look at look it up just look up the word slain and the slain of the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai shall be at that day from one end of the earth even until the other end of the earth. They, they shall not be lamented. No one's going to cry for them. No one's going to mourn for them. You ain't going to have enough time. All hell is breaking loose. You ain't going to have enough time to mourn for nobody. You ain't going to have enough time to be crying over your family members. Your daddy, your mama, your sister, your brothers, your nieces, your nephews, your aunts, whoever, your, your BFFs. You're not going to have time to cry or mourn for them. You're going to be trying to find some cover and some shelter for your own life. They shall not be lamented, nor gathered, nor buried. Ain't going to be no funerals. You got to worry about a funeral home. You got to worry about a casket. You got to worry about no flowers or none of that. You got to worry about no autopsy or none of that. It, look, man, you none of that. N neither gathered nor buried. They should be dung upon the ground. What is dung? S H I T. But you you have your fun and you, you enjoy yourself. With a, with a hopeful elect of the nation of Israel is going to tremble at the words of the Lord. We're going to stay trembling at the words of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Who you eagerly call God and Jesus. Let's get this. This is going to be something quick about the head out. Just want to do knock this out right quick. Another lesson pretty much on just fearing the God of the Bible. Period. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39, and it reads, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. Then you know, can't nobody help you out. This is the Heavenly Father speaking, the Most High Yahweh. Say, ain't no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any 
that could deliver out of my hand. Look, I, I got to read this again. It's all about fearing the Lord. It's all that's what it's always been about. This is a, hit, remember hear the conclusion of the whole matter, and I'm not to end with that. I'm gonna bring out one more after this, and then I'm then I'm gonna wrap it up. Tremble, Israel, be afraid. Be very afraid. Now, I look, look, part, part three. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Because remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Lord got spiritual. You, you people just think you ain't understanding what's going on. Scripture says the slain of the Lord shall be from one end of the earth to the other. No one can deliver you out of his hands, out of his clutches. Deuteronomy 32. 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is, neither is there any, no one, nothing. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. This, this scripture right here speaks volume, man. Volume. Matter of fact, let's get, let's get that Ecclesiastes and end it off with that. Let's end it off with that. Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Go straight to the point. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, and it reads, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This sums up everything. Fear Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus. That's it. That's the conclusion of the whole matter. And keep his commandments. We rehearse them to the best of our ability. For this is the whole duty of man. This is why we was put on the face of the earth. Our people still don't get that yet. Was put on the face of the earth to fear Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, and to rehearse the righteous acts, their righteous acts of the Bible to the best of our ability. Be afraid. Be very afraid, Israel. Shalom.